Hi everyone, this is Kiri with a, another layout for Bramble Fox and this is the last layout from the beautiful spring themed March Fox Box that I'll be sharing. Um, I'm using from the Fox Box the spring title in the pale pink, the sweet as can be title in that lovely bright yellow and then some butterflies and bees as well. You can see them just there on the screen now. Um, and I'm also using the Fox Cut stencil number 56. It's the one one that's the honeycomb with the bees on it and um, I'm also using some of the new blending brushes that are, are brand new to the shop and um, you probably saw the image at the beginning of the video. Okay so what am I doing here? I've pulled out this um, the lovely Pink Fresh Studio flower market collection because the colours were just perfect. I'm, I'm sure Morag had a vision that this is why she was creating this collection because, um, because the perspectives just go absolutely perfectly with this collection with those bright yellows and the pretty pinks. So um, I'm taking the pattern paper here and you can see I'm, I'm going to create like a diagonal design on um, my layout. So I'm just, um, I've just marked up the paper and I'm just going to um, trim trim the pieces off um, that now and then I'm going to set that onto a white background. Um, I really wanted to get that yellow paper onto the layout in reasonable piece because I just it was so pretty. Um, I love yellow and again I just think it was just perfect with the um, the perspectives both the spring and the sweet as can be. So um, there you go you can see how it's going to sit and then I'll create a diet sort of a diagonal design on the pattern paper only. So I'm going to get that that stuck down um flat and just um distress those edges um so fox box um if you don't know what the fox box is um you need to pop on over to bramblefox.co.uk and find out all about becoming a monthly subscriber. So um, each month you'll get a lovely um, collection of acrylic embellishments uh, delivered to your door. And um, that also entitles you to a 15% discount in the shop. So that's a real bonus um, when you're a subscriber. And then there is also the Foxbox Plus subscription, which gives you some additional elements. You get the latest Fox Cut stencil, along with a sheet of paper snips, and the DIY epoxy flare stickers. So, um, and you'll see, I'm going to use some of those actually a little bit later on to embellish. Okay, so I'm working here with um, four photos that I took in the last week of all the pretty spring flowers that are coming out. And you can see I was sort of playing around with a going straight across. Oh, here we go. I'm going back again. I'm um, straight across the layout or you going into two. I could have gone either way, but I just decided I was going to go with the flowers all going straight across because of the way I wanted to run the title and um, the other embellishments. So I'm still though I am still obviously trying to figure it out and decide here what looks better. Both look fine. Um, I, I do stick with the ones with the photos running um, straight across. Um, so um, hopefully I'm going to make a decision soon. Yes, looks like I have. And I have pulled out uh, Distress Oxide in Scattered Straw and these lovely little blending brushes that are brand new to the Bramble Fox shop. And you really can really control the sort of colour with that by just... Um, just a little bit on your brush and then you can just build up but it really allows you to just use small parts of the um, stencil um, which is great when you just want to do something like I'm doing here which is just add a small amount of detailing along the edge. Now probably what I should have done was before I stuck the piece of pattern paper down was marked the edges and then I could have taken the um, it would have been a little easier to um, use the stencil but actually it worked out fine so it is okay sometimes when you do do that sort of thing. Um, right, I'm going to mount the four photos on this um, striped paper and I'm just sort of making sure I have that there's a it's sort of a, a it's sort of a pale bluey sort of green colour and I just wanted to make sure that was running round down the sides of each photo so I've just positioned them so that I don't get a white edge from the paper on each of them. And then of course, I will distress the edges of each of the photos. Um, and, and then I can get those stuck down and start to work on um, embellishments and adding the lovely uh, March Fox Box perspectives. 
So sorry, I'm obviously off screen. I'm doing it down where my bin is just to the right of me there. Okay, so just um, getting those into position. And I've just decided that I want to add a little bit more of the honeycomb stenciling detail above um, the photos on that right there. So um, I was there just figuring out, actually, no, I needed an extra row of honeycomb. So there we go. But again, you can see those brushes really just allow you to add exactly what you want. So if you just want to add a small amount of stenciling, it really helps to control um, how much you get down onto your onto your um, paper. Um, OK, I'm just getting out some um, foam and adding that to the top edge of each photo only. And then the bottom edges will sit flat. I tend to do that quite a lot, often because you're embellishing in that around the bottom corners and things like that, um, or getting a title on. So it's a little easier to do when it's flat. And then on the top, you know, I can tuck in embellishments um, just under the top of each of the photos. So I'm just going to get those set there. And then I can start to work on on the embellishing. I haven't got it quite right. No, of course I haven't. It's got to be absolutely perfect. Um, I think my friends call me a bit like um, Mary Poppins, you know, practically perfect in every way because I am a bit like that. I am a bit of a perfectionist. It's just got to be right. It's got to be straight. I've got to get out the T ruler and make sure the lines are perfect. Anyway, I think I've got those set and now I'm just going to um, start to work on, I mean, the, the title, to be fair, I sort of had pretty early on actually which is unusual sometimes I, I haven't sort of quite figured out what I'm going to do but I'd worked out where that was going to sit and I'm going to have it's a it's a two parts of the title so it's going to have pretty spring flowers at the top and then at the bottom it'll have our sweet as can be um, so just really sort of bringing together the two title perspectives that I'm using on um, my layout so I'm just using a small um, alpha there it's another pink for a studio alpha um, with colors that were just just right so I've used a sort of a, a sort of purpley blue and then the yellow for the flowers and I've stuck down the spring already um, and now I'm just getting the sweet as can be perspective stuck down again using glossy accents because it does give a nice strong hold and that will layer up just over that um, those two photos there and then I can start to bring in some of the embellish embellishments as well so these are the coordinating ones from the Pink Press Studio collection. I'm tucking in a few of the flowers at the top there and then just above the photo. And, and then I can start to bring in the perspective. So I've got the, the, the pink butterfly. So we've got pale pink and that is a really deep sort of like fuchsia hot pink almost. And they're beautifully etched. So you get lovely detail. And then I've got a couple of little bees down the bottom in, in, in the bright yellow matching the title, sweet as can be. And they're also etched as well. So you get that really extra detail. And now what you can see is I've pulled out the paper snips number 21. And these come with the March Foxbox Plus subscription. And I've just pulled a couple of the words out, brighter day and fresh air. And, um, and then I've just gone off to find my one inch circle punch and I'm punching out that bottom um, uh, one of the bottom circles there and that one just has a camera on it and pink pale pink background um, and then I popped the um, DIY epoxy flare over the top of it and and then I'm gonna that's gonna sit in that top embellishment cluster so now I'm just sort of getting everything stuck down I've got some of the elements are um, layered with um, foam pads just to create that dimension and you'll see with the flowers here, I really just add a little bit of glue. I don't really stick them down totally flat so I can curve the edges up really again. It's just all about adding dimension for me because I'm definitely not a flat scrapbooker. I do like to add dimension and layers. So that's how I sort of work it in there. There we go, just sticking down that little epoxy flare that I've just I've put together. And here's those lovely butterflies. So the, the pale pink one, that little fuchsia one there, the side one, and another fuchsia one there. And then we've got another one in the pale pink and those two cute little bees that will sit down the pot, the bottom. So I've sort of created a bit of a sort of a vertical design below the sweet as can be title. And then I've got to add some journaling. So I'm just sort of figuring out what I'm going to do. But I have got some stickers 
And um, I pulled those out and then realised there's this um, sort of banner one um, checked. And I thought that could work quite nicely to add a little bit of detail along the edges. So that's what I'm actually playing with here. I'm just going to sort of tuck a little bit under each side. And I play around a little bit deciding, am I going to add a piece on both sides on the top? Um, but I do take away that top piece and just have the one on the bottom. And then I just, um, I've just got this one over here on the left. I've just trimmed down a little bit and then I'll just tuck it in. So yeah, there we go. I'm still fiddling around, but just again, as I say, has to be perfect, of course. Um, okay. And then just sort of, I'm just curving up the edges there and then just tucking a little bit of glue on the, only just on the very edge. And then, um, there we go, they're both in. Then I can look at um, stickers again and look at the, there was a journaling piece there that I thought worked perfectly. It's got some little lines on it. And then I can, I started to think about actually layering onto something, but changed my mind. And here you go, I'm just sort of de-sticking it a little bit, but then I've actually got my anti-static bag there anyway. So I'm just doing that. I'm going to add some um, foam pads to the back. And um, again, so that's raised and then I can write my journaling. And then we're almost done, actually. Um, there's not too much more to do after this. Uh, here we go, the trusty T-square ruler comes out, make sure I've got that lined up nice and straight. And um, and then I can get the um, journaling done. But I oh, pull out the enamel dots, I just realized I had those. So I'm just adding a few enamel dots in and around the layout. Um, again, um, moving them around into multiple places until I'm actually happy with where they go, as per usual. Um, but um, yeah, look at me. It's a good job. It's it's um, you can speed this up because honestly, it would take ages, wouldn't it? Watching it. Um, okay, journaling going down, and and then really, I think we're almost there. Last few enamel dots are going on. And I did just add a few splatters again in the distressed oxides in the scattered straw to the honeycomb stencil bit. And you can see some uh, close ups here of those lovely pale pink, um, fuchsia pink, and yellow perspectives. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this process video, and I will see you next month. Bye for now.